Contrary to what you may think, reloading primers doesn't necessarily involve chemical equations and chemistry labs and obtaining hard to reach materials. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the fifth ingredient, aluminum powder. But we've all used Reynolds wrap, right? This is not an original idea. I got this idea from our Adrian Jackson on the MiWi Primer Reloading site. I'll show you how to obtain any tools that we use at the end of this video. Okay, what we're doing here is we're taking common, ordinary Reynolds wrap or foil of your choice. We've ripped off about a two foot, 18 inch piece. And what we're going to do now is we're gonna fold this in such a fashion that we're going to compress it into a block of aluminum that will be able to file and produce the aluminum filings in the appropriate mesh size. So I folded this down just about as much as I can I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chuck it up into our vise and do this very tightly. Now we're going to use a common ordinary file. Go ahead and do some uh, cutting here. And you can see that it comes off very easily. I'm not applying a lot of pressure here. Now we're going to show you a alternative to using the hand file. There is a, another tool available out there and it's a rotary file that you chuck up into a drill. And we're going to go ahead and demonstrate how this might facilitate the uh, the filings. We'll take our brush here and we're just going to sweep this off into our Now we'll drop this in the classifiers. There we go. And now we'll just kind of move this around. Now this is a uh, 80 mesh classifier, so it will pass anything 80 mesh or smaller. And anything larger than 80 mesh will remain up on top. So below that we have 100 mesh, and we can combine these. And collectively, the 80 and the 100 mesh would be the correct diameter or mesh size for our EPH formulation. There are hundreds of sources of pure aluminum out there that would probably work. But tearing your house apart is not necessary. And as Tom stated, you do want your aluminum to be a certain mesh. 80 to 100 for sparks and 100 to 150 for an additional fuel. The overall reason for adding aluminum to EPH 20 to make recipes 25 and 26 is that aluminum produces more flame or sparks for your slower rifle powders and your magnum primers. The file that I like to use has four files built into one. It gives me choices as to the size of particles that it produces. That particular file we found at Ace Hardware, but I've also witnessed that file at Walmart. For the meshes, if you go to Aardvark Home and then Primer Tools, you can find the meshes down a little ways you have to scroll here's a set of meshes I would get the 80 100 and 150 mesh possibly even a 200 
mesh for a complete set of meshes. You can also find the rat tail file that you put in a drill here on Amazon. And here's a link for yet another type file. I also provide a link to the commercial aluminum powder if you go to the home page of aardvarkreloading.com and then to the EPH20 tab. If you look down about in the middle of the page you'll see um, adding 80 mesh aluminum powder. This is a commercial source. Um, it's very expensive at $33 for a half a pound. It is a lifetime supply but as I've stated it's not necessary but it, it is uh, convenient and it is high quality. This is Mark on ArdvarkReloading.com If you have the financial means, donations on Patreon would be appreciated but not required. Details below. And if you have technical questions, please join me at the MeWe group called Primer Reloading. Hope to see you there.